What's going on guys? Welcome to Film RT, your number one source for films, movies, and TV. My name is Cole, and today we're going to be taking a look at the best scenes from the new film on Netflix called Bird Box. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys hit that like button down below and let us know what your guys' favorite moment in Bird Box was. Now before this video starts, we just want to let you guys know, if you guys have not seen Bird Box yet, we highly recommend it, as it's taking the internet by storm. It's on Netflix, so if you guys want to go see it, get a Netflix account and go watch it. It's actually a pretty good film, you might actually enjoy it. Just a heads up, as always, this video may contain spoilers, so watch at your own discretion. Also, there's some graphic content in this video, so be advised. Starting off at number one, we have the scene where she's walking through a hospital, and things go awry. This is the best opening scene that we've ever seen in a movie so far. Well, a suspense movie, that is. It just opens with a bang. Enjoy. Again, this movie starts off with a bang. While this next scene may seem graphic and may seem like it's horrible, it's one of the best scenes in the movie considering it tells us basically what's going on with the world and why everything's happening. However, this is a little bit saddening for the main character. It's still one of the best scenes in the movie. If this movie didn't have a name, I would name it Chaos. In this next scene, things go very awry, and a shotgun is pulled. Tom, is this safe? Hold Shut on. up! Please! Okay, it's all covered. Okay. Hey, hey, Patrick, come on. Come on. Hold on, hold on. We're good. <laughs> Mallory. Yeah. The gun, please. Yeah. yeah, before you kill someone with it, since you have no idea how it works. Things were really awry in that scene, as we thought we, they were all gonna die. But they didn't die because, obviously, they shielded their eyes, they thought she was infected, but she wasn't. And it was kind of funny when that old man says, I don't, I don't even think you can use that thing, and she showed him, didn't she? In this next scene, due to the outbreak and everything going on, they have to drive blindfolded. Doesn't turn out very well. Well for everyone who's on the street. It's a proximity sensor. Is somebody else driving out there? If I was in that situation, I would honestly be scared out of my mind. Seeing that ship or whatever it was fly past their space in the car, it was just shocking. I mean, the fact that they were able to navigate using the GPS and navigation system, as in the proximity effect system, was actually impressive and impressive feat. I actually think we could do that in real life, but please don't try it. <laughs> it might not end very well. In this next scene, two members of the surviving, in a sense now, family die but one of them dies for the greater good. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me! <sighs> Ow. <gasps> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy deserved a double tap. Honestly though, when I first watched that, I didn't know who actually grabbed the shotgun until obviously I saw he was the one alive and standing up and get, making sure everyone was okay. We chose this next scene because it was a pretty suspenseful scene, and a suspenseful film, that's pretty much all that matters. Ah, 
told her to stay on the boat. I honestly thought when that scene happened that she got pulled away as well, and that it wasn't her mother who pulled her away. But luckily, it was her mother. This scene honestly demonstrates what it means to be a true hero, and that's why we chose it. Take off your blindfold. Stand back! Stand back! She's not moving. Hey! Got a woman and two kids over here. The fact that he was able to overcome the influence of the aliens was pretty impressive. However, the scene was sad because he did end up killing himself, but he did save the family. I can honestly say without a doubt that this movie was pretty good. However, this scene right here made me think that the movie could have been better, but this scene really cemented that it was an okay movie. Just gonna put this out there, she got really lucky she had the machete. That was a very stressful scene for her, most likely. In this next scene, Charlie sacrifices himself to save the group. Shows that he really, truly loved those guys. Charlie's sacrifice may have been in vain, considering a lot of these people died in the movie, but he did save a couple lives for a little bit, and that's all that matters. Up next, this next scene demonstrates how we're not even safe with CCTV, how CCTV can even turn your brain into the influence of the aliens and make you kill yourself. I feel like that would be a horrible way to die. Yeah, that's pretty bad. In what has to be one of the best happy endings in all of history for suspense movies, this movie has a pretty cool scene that is pretty much the best happy ending you can wish for for this type of movie. What are your names? Girl. Boy. Actually, your name is Olivia. Yeah. Named after the sweetest girl I ever met. And your name? Your name is Tom. Bringing those kids closure and letting them know their real names was actually probably the smartest thing this movie could have ever done. I had a lot of gripes about this movie when I first watched it, but in the end, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, we just hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys want to go watch it again, go watch it on Netflix. It's a pretty good sh movie and we recommend watching it. Alright guys, so we're getting that video there. We hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, hit the like button down below and subscribe for more Film Artsy. If you guys want more, let us know. Also, what was your guys' favorite moment in the bird box? Let us know down below. We'll see you all in the next video. Hi, hi. <laughs> Mm -hmm. See you guys.